All right, today we're gonna be testing what it's like to work out with ankle weights. What I'm gonna do is jump rope for a little bit without ankle weights, and then jump rope a little bit with the ankle weights on and give you guys two things. The first one being, do I think exercising in ankle weights is a good idea? Is it effective? Does it feel good? Does it make me more prone to injury? All that kind of stuff. The second part is actual effectiveness in terms of calorie burn. Am I burning more calories and getting more out of my workout because of using ankle weights? So I'm gonna strap up, we're gonna go downstairs. I'm just gonna call it. I think I'm gonna like this more than I thought I was gonna like this. I thought this was gonna be a terrible idea and bro, these don't feel that bad. I feel like my legs are moving for me. Like when, when I go to put the momentum, it's like, just to ensure that this is a fair assessment, I'm going to be jumping for the same exact amount of time. The timer that I'm setting is 15 sets of 30 seconds, or 10 seconds in between each. So total, we're doing like 10, a 10 minute workout. Okay, so we started the whoop. We got the timer, starting that. Okay, we're going. Also, what I'm gonna do is just kind of like basic bounce and boxer skip, and then I'll move up into doing like high knees and stuff and see if that makes a, a difference. You know what? It feels like I just have socks on that are like super thick. That's what it feels like. Like it, it feels like they're just an extension of my shoe. Oh, there I feel it. When you just pull them up in the air like that, that's tough. Okay. It's obviously a little bit warmer out here in the garage. That feels a little lighter. Another thing I always wonder with the Whoop is like if it checks your body temperature at all and factors that into the calorie burn because I'm clearly going to be much warmer out here in the sun than I would be in the garage. It's warm out here. So the variables are ne not necessarily the exact same. I feel like I'm doing way more work, but I'm not. About three minutes in, seven minutes left. The single leg. Oh yeah. Ooh. Holding my foot up in the air like this is definitely more challenging. I don't know, man. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like I had a different impression of what this would be like. I kind of am liking it. I expected to think that this was like a stupid idea. Oh, I don't want to go too high because the mic is doing what the fuck, bro. You got about halfway, five minutes left. Let's see what, here's the whoop. No, 66 calories, five minutes in. All right, we have officially three minutes left. We've burned 62 calories. Okay, the calorie, difference is pretty drastic, which I did not expect. One thing that I'm already getting from this is um, I was tired for both of these. And I think that just overall shows you the effectiveness that jump rope is by itself. The ankle weights added a little bit to it so far, but honestly, I feel like I'm just gassed because of jumping rope. Here's what we got. Little over 10 minutes. Overall, noticeably more difficult, especially doing double unders and stuff like that. Calories, 104. Strain was 5.7, whereas the strain on the other one was a 6.8. That's very interesting. Okay, let's go upstairs and I'll give you the final rundown. First of all, the strain was a little bit higher and the calorie burn was a little bit higher using the ankle weights, which I thought was really interesting because I didn't feel that there was that much of a difference in my effort. If anything, I felt like I was more tired and putting, exerting more effort without the ankle weights and I still didn't burn as much. So again, this is only one test that has very, many variables involved, but I did find it interesting that there was like a 35% or a 35 calorie difference doing 10 minutes each. So is it effective? Apparently it is pretty effective to wear ankle weights and jump rope. Secondly, the thing that I cared most about with this test was the athletic ability that I felt. I do feel that doing double unders or high knees with ankle weights on can definitely help you do things like increase your vertical, make your fast twitch muscles move faster for things like agility and balance and stuff like that. So overall, I changed my mind. And now I'm kind of like, 
your boy might start jumping with ankle weight. Maybe not every time, but I see the effectiveness. I see the usage for something like that. The only thing I would say is if you are a beginner to jump rope, this is not necessary. You shouldn't be using ankle weights. One thing I could see this leading to is especially if you're doing double unders, I think it could be pretty easy to injure yourself if you have too much weight on your ankles. So that's my analysis. It would be really awesome to hear from you guys what you thought if you try this out. Maybe next I'll do like a wrist video or something like that, but appreciate the support, appreciate the, uh, the comments and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, let us know what you thought of this video. We'll see you on the next one.